And coming up later in the program, bird flu. Will we all die or will there be a handful of survivors forced to live in caves? But <laughs> first, let's catch up with a few of your emails. Yes, earlier we were discussing food prices and Liz from Datchet has emailed to say, why is food so expensive? Some food items cost a lot more than others. That can't be right in a democracy. That's a good point. <laughs> Margaret from Ipswich says, I blame the farmers. They overcharge for their produce. Sandra from Ealing says, have you seen the price of aubergines? It's a scandal. Luckily, I don't like aubergines. Well, that is lucky, Sandra. <laughs> Clive, a farmer from Malmesbury, says Margaret from Ipswich is wrong to blame farmers. Basically, she's talking out of her ass. <laughs> Susan from Godalming reckons Margaret is right to blame farmers. Everyone knows they're greedy. Oh, another one here from Clive. He says, Suzanne from Godalming is talking out of her ass as well. Would she be prepared to get up at four in the morning on a freezing day in November and squeeze a cow's tits? <laughs> no, I bet she's some stuck-up bitch of a housewife. <laughs> And there's one here from Simon, also of Godalming. He says, Clive is insulting the woman I love. He's a typical farmer. I eat a lout. <laughs> Controversial stuff there. Again, Clive from Malmesbury says, I'm loading my shotgun, getting in my car and heading for Godalming, where I will hunt down both Suzanne and Simon and kill them like dogs. <laughs> And I'll head for Ipswich and blow Margaret away before turning the gun on myself. So there you have it. Keep those emails coming in. That's right, because we love to know what you think, don't we, Mike? We certainly do. Jenny.